Welcome to the Hyundai Studios here for STO Sidekicks. I'm William J. Uick III and Ashley Marie Collins, the one and only. Yes. The one only, the first, the Ashley first. Marie Collins. I like it. You guys went to our Facebook page, and we have a Super Bowl-themed questions today. A couple of them, obviously. Big game. First up was, who do you guys think will win the big game? I'm going to go with the San Francisco 49ers. And I know I've said before, I think defenses win championships. And I think you could see that based on who is in the Super Bowl. You have the Baltimore Ravens, the San Francisco 49ers, two great defenses. I think the Ravens, though, a little more of an old defense. They're a little slower. Okay. The 49ers have a little more pep in their step. And I also think Colin Kaepernick, he's got the ability to stretch out the field, stretch plays out. Flacco has been very hot, but we've also seen him be very cold. And if he shows up cold, I don't think the Ravens have a chance. You know, I think everyone was saying maybe Colin Kaepernick was going to maybe blow that last game. Rookie quarterback, big stage. This is a huge stage. Maybe he'll falter a little bit. Maybe no one can see it coming. I think Joe Flacco can have an argument of the, being the hottest quarterback right now. You take him, the Ravens into Denver and win. You take him into New England and win. The momentum is hot. And the sole fact, I think, of Ray Lewis retiring and winning this game for him, I don't want the Ravens to win, but I think that they will win. They do love Ray Lewis and love conquers all. Oh, yes. 68 of you percent went with Will. The 49ers, you think, will win, which I want them to, too. But 32%. Picked the Ravens. I lost on that one. And I don't know if you know this, Ashley. This is kind of a kept secret. But uh -oh, what? This is two brothers coaching against each other in you Super Bowl. You know what? Bowl. I have not heard that yet. A lot of no people one don't has know been that. talking about it. The Harbaugh's no are going against each other. And it's an overplayed storyline that you keep hearing. And it is the big storyline that they'll be talking about for the next two weeks. But we're wondering, how many times do you think they're going to talk about it in the game? And specifically, show the parents in the audience. Well, we gave an over-under, right? I right. think over-under of 10 for the parents. Okay, I th I'm going to ha have to say under 10 of showing the parents. That's a lot of times, I feel, for parents, unless you're McCarran's girlfriend, 22 times would have to be <laughs> maybe a wow. number that could throw out there. She was shown a lot, or just for a long period of time, if you cut it up a little bit. I'm going to say under 10 times. But if we're talking about just talking about the Harbaugh brothers, maybe showing pictures when they were little, right. referencing them, I'm going to go over 10. I think it depends on what you count as a time because I could see the entire halftime show just being the Harbaugh brothers. Correct. They may have the parents singing at halftime. I don't know. They may come down and join Are them they on stage. Do the coin toss? They may, they may do it. That would be great. And I think <laughs> if the minutes add up, it should be over. And I'm going with over because I think this is going to be the Harbaugh Bowl and okay. the Super Bowl is just kind of going to play second fiddle. Well, Let's see what the like fans. You said 12 and a half, didn't you? I said 12 and a half, exactly. <laughs> Weird. 12 and a half. I have a different Why? way of counting. My okay. mind works in mysterious ways. Oh, if you just ways. show the mom, it'll be 12 and a half. There you go. Okay, you got it. Let's see what the fans had to say. 5% say exactly 10 times. 95% more, more than 10 times. No one thinks less than 10 times. So everyone knows this is going to be the Harbaugh Bowl. We're um, going to shift to a little college football um, <laughs> topic right here. Our own Gene Winners had an exclusive, and let me say exclusive, this interview is a big with Monty Teo's imaginary girlfriend, Lene Kakua. God bless you. So let's check it out. Well, through my imaginary friend, I was able to land Lene Kakua, Mateo's imaginary girlfriend, and she joins us right now. Uh, Lene, thank you very much for joining us and making time today. Isn't it sad in this world when we have to give imaginary friends background checks before we can trust them? The only way of protecting yourself, never fall in love in the first place. Or at least, make sure it's a real person. Actually, that kind of reminded me a little bit it's of hilarious. Clint Eastwood at the RNC, talking to the, the blank chair. I think maybe that's where Gene got that a little bit. It was so good. I thought it was very creative, and she had a lot to say. I was, you know, surprised that she was, she you was know, very vocal. talking as much as she was. It was, you know, like an episode of, it was like an episode of Catfish. It was like <laughs> oh, Neve. Gosh. Gene was like there. me, but he just caught her. You know, and then at the end, Gene pulled a little Jerry Springer moment. You know, he was giving his final take on everything. And, you know, love, don't, don't fall in love unless they're real. Words to live by, I think, right? Yeah. It was like a final word, Jerry Springer. I wish he would have invoked her a little more to maybe get up and throw the chair. Because I saw it in her eyes. She could have. I could see that she was close to doing that. But if he know, would have pushed her a little more like Jerry does. Gene kind of look looks like Steve, though, the bodyguard on Jerry Springer. You know, the bald head. He was probably, you know, he, he had a handle on it. Distant he didn't want her to go nuts, so he had it. <laughs> Guys, thanks for joining us here on SEO Sidekicks. Make sure you go to our Facebook page every single week and weigh in with your opinion. For Ashley Collins, I'm Will Uick. Until we meet again.